Meanwhile, a second state is stepping forward and blocking former President Trump from being on the GOP primary ballot. Maine's Secretary of State has ruled that Trump is disqualified from making another run for the White House. Here's Alexandria Hoff with more. According to the 14th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, Maine's top election official has determined former President Trump is ineligible to be on her state's ballot. The state President Biden won in 2020, but that also handed Mr. Trump a single electoral vote. Former President Trump facing another roadblock in his race for the White House. Maine's Secretary of State ruling the 45th president is ineligible to run, given Maine law prevents people from holding government positions if they have engaged in insurrection. It's a very detailed decision. Uh, we lay out uh, why under Maine law the Secretary of State has the authority, indeed the obligation. I'm duty bound to make this determination. The Trump campaign responded, calling the ruling atrocious, saying it would appeal the decision to Maine state courts. His lawyers arguing the former president's remarks on January 6 of 2021 were protected by his right to free speech. On social media, a slew of Republicans also blasted the ruling. North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis calling it an egregious abuse of power and writing he planned to introduce legislation to, quote, stop these partisan officials and ensure any constitutional challenge is only decided by the U.S. Supreme Court. This all comes after the Colorado Supreme Court decided this month to remove Trump from its primary ballot. That ruling has been paused after an appeal from the Colorado GOP, meaning Trump will appear on the primary ballot unless the Supreme Court affirms Colorado's decision. So it is ripe for the Supreme Court to review. There's a conflict among the states and there's a very weighty issue here, uh, obviously, uh, for the country. And while Maine Secretary of State suspended her ruling while Maine state courts weigh the Trump campaign's appeal, Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy restated that he would, quote, withdraw from any state's ballot that ultimately removes Trump from its ballot. In Washington, Alexandria Hoff, Fox News.